Okay, Swankit, welcome to Yopedia. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. And Ankit, you are textile engineer, presently pursuing your master's from Niti Bombay, and that is PGDIE. Am I correct in that, Ankit? Yeah. Okay. And Ankit, you had job experience also uh, before you joined Niti Bombay. So I start with your very brief uh, background first. Please tell us about your academic background. Okay, so I've done BTEC from NIT Jalandhar, from where I passed out in 2020. Post that I joined Reliance Industries Limited as a product manager. So then I worked for one and a half year, around 17, 18 months. And then I uh, applied for NIT and then currently I'm also in the PGDI, first year student here at NIT. Wonderful. Ankit, can you also share with us with your GATE score and all and with which subject did you write, GATE? Okay, so my engineering major was textile technology and I appeared in the GATE during my final year only. Uh, in 2020 and I used that GATE score in 2022 uh, to apply to NIT and my GATE score was 770 and my category was general. Okay, 770. So for textile student, how uh, how to score that, um, you know, GATE score, how to get this score? Now, can you give some tips to textile guys for that? Yeah, so in my case, it was like a bit, uh, I would say, easy and that sounds like I got a pre-placement offer based on my summer internship that I did with Reliance. So I was having uh, enough of time for preparation of it. So I started preparing accordingly that and I think uh, hardcore dedicated focus for a three month of consistent study is enough uh, to get a good score in, especially for textile. Uh, okay. So that means that compared to the main branches, uh, other core branches of engineering, textile may, it may be relatively easy. Yeah? Yeah, it's very easy because the competition is very less. Around uh, not more than 1800 students apply. Wonderful. So that is uh, there. Okay, anyhow, now Ankit, you were doing job also. Please uh, tell us about your job experience also, job background also. So basically, I was a product manager at Reliance Industrial Limited. I was sitting here at a corporate office in Mumbai only. Mm -hmm. So then I was uh, working with the B2B clients of paint industry, like Asian Paint Birds and Nippon Aerolite. I was also working with the Everest uh, cement roofing manufacturing industry. And then I was working in the supply chain management, sales and marketing, product development, uh, so these kind of things. Mm. So Ankit, why you at the first place you thought of going for NITI? Uh, you had one and a half year of job experience, you were doing wonderfully good in that. So why you decided to go for NITI? So basically, uh, I got to know about NITI during my second year only. Like, uh, every year, a lot of my senior, like, uh, they used to, after graduating from NITI, they used to join NITI. So I have a good network in terms of joining uh, NITI. So like I was well aware of the fact that like, like how NITI adds value to our personality. Mm. So that was a mm. Achha, NITI normally calls uh, you know, boys, general category boys, you know, with the 750 plus gate score and girls with 700 plus gate score, if I'm not wrong. So uh, Ankit, I want to ask from you, a student, general category student who gets call for interview or something from NITI with 750, 755, 760, does it stand chance or it is uh, chances are very less? Uh, I would say the chance always exists. It depends on multiple factors. The first is the academics, 10th, 12th in the BTEC, uh, BTEC percentage. Second factor would be the kind of college you are coming from. Uh, the third would be if you have any kind of experience in an organization, so how it add values to your personality. And the fourth, the last, not the least, uh, that would be how you perform your interview. So that also plays in role. Yes, in your case, like NIT Jalandhar is a reputed institute and then job experience as project manager. So those things uh, must have added. Uh, yeah, definitely. Mm. Now, Ankit, can you share with us your intro experience in uh, Niti Bombay? Okay, so it started with uh, like uh, about my introduction only. Followed by that, uh, out throughout the introduction, like they put some questions what I told during my introduction. Like, uh, followed by that, there were some uh, questions like uh, given a chance if you are a Textile Ministry of Government uh, in Government Ministry. So, what are the key changes that you will do in the system? What is the current position of uh, India in the textile scenario globally in Asia Pacific? What are the other countries? What are their key edges? Why they are performing well? And also uh, the current awareness uh, that how you can relate that current awareness to your year answer that you are putting, like the PLI scheme that happened. So, all of these uh, the broader perspective in which they ask you. And also uh, the project that I did with Reliance about my work experience that also was there. Mm. Now, Ankit, let me ask you, when you are sitting in the class of PGD IE, by the way, how many students are there in PGD IE class? Around 220 students are there in PGD IE. Yeah, sure. Okay. So when you sit in that class, there will be mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, so many branches. So when you think of job, Ankit, then as textile engineer, uh, what kind of job? Uh, 
do you expect and you want to explore is it that does it depend upon like uh, i am a textile engineer or i am a civil engineer or i am a mechanical engineer when it comes to uh, you know getting the job in niti uh, what i would say like i would pursue in uh, majors in textile at niti jalandhar so uh, even my first internship was also not in textile it was in sales and marketing core b2c sales and marketing so the tag of textile engineering was uh, vanished way back in long early early mm-hmm. so i would say uh, answer answer to your question for the case of others like who uh, do their internship in textile or what i would say is that uh, here at niti uh, it doesn't matter at all uh, from which branch you are coming from you know, for a specific company they have uh, certain criteria like to prefer some mechanical engineering uh, mm-hmm. people but i would say there is uh, as such no limitations or a negative impact if you are coming from a textile uh, even i would say uh, it's good to go like it's easy to crack and get into niti with the textile and if you work consistently hard enough so uh, you will be able to perform equally and even well as well wonderful so so now ankit uh, yeah, let me ask you uh, supply this uh, um, niti bombay is known as the mecca of supply chain right so what kind of typical supply chain companies come for recruitment and what are the you know most preferred companies for uh, graduates okay so it is no more uh, no more less than uh, any of the ims in the terms of companies to visit campus so we have companies ranging from fmcg sector to all of the leading companies uh, second would be banking uh, third is pharma so we have uh, consulting as well so some of the companies like who do provide role in finance analytics so uh, all range of companies to visit niti for the place okay wonderful now ankit uh, uh, you know one question every student is asking this year like gate 2023 is going to come and uh, you know niti is one of the first institutes which release its forms maybe in march and april and may may session starts so is uh, niti going to con- take students of pgd ie through gate 2023 this year or not or is it going to become im i think as per the uh, latest uh, notice that has been circulated so this year there will be uh, entry for the uh, students on the basis of gate as well mm. uh, not sure about the coming years but for this year it will be there okay this year it will be through uh, gate only right yeah sure that is wonderful because you know there's a great opportunity for students to get into that yeah, so, even uh, yeah. yeah even i was also in the fear of uh, during the last year whether they will take students so gate or not whether it will be uh, changed completely right? but so it is happening so no, no need to worry about that of course it just uh, appear for this the year also students letters. can get into niti through yeah, sure even they have also opened uh, a student to msc uh, earlier it was for engineers only mm. now niti has started uh, taking students who have been msc in mathematics and statistics so this is, is happening first time is it yeah okay that is on the website yeah so they have provided this information on the website okay wonderful and uh, that is through gate only msc in uh, uh, not sure whether they take it from gate but uh, they are uh, giving this chance for admission to uh, this msc people also like earlier they used to say it is for engineers only but now it is no more engineer wonderful wonderful so that is for ie yeah? uh, i i think uh, i saw it for i am but uh, it should be for ie also okay wonderful that is a great information actually and uh, let me explore it further ankit and uh, that will be wonderful so ankit any other input any any other advice you want to give to the students who will be watching you i would say just uh, focus on the gate you know to worry uh, much of the time and uh, i would say it is a great opportunity from gate so that's it and uh, if you are preparing for uh, like let, let's say if you are track the gate and you have got a good score and you are preparing for an interview uh, so personally this year pdia helped me a lot that also preparing uh, so what we say is a res- uh, resonance so it helps you in uh, matching your frequency with the kind of question that they are and preparing well in that once so instead of doing mistake at the exit interview you do uh, commit all the mistakes early only and you improve it so that's it. thanks a lot ankit for your time and i wish you all the very best in your future endeavors thank you thank you so much thank you okay.